An Albany Common Council member proposing eliminating the city's ban on skateboarding downtown. News 10's Michaela Singleton now sharing what the community has to say ahead of tonight's meeting. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to do what I want to do, and that's skateboarding. Through all the sick flips and tricks, sometimes skateboarders still get a bad rap, but that's changing quickly. Alan Mercedes says he's found comfort while skateboarding through the pandemic, and many others feel the same. I've met a lot of cool new people, and I've grown so much as a person. I've learned a lot of things about life through skateboarding. 2020 with COVID, people want to explore different avenues to be outside in a safe space, in a safe way. And also having skateboarding become a, a sport in the Olympics too, it has increased tremendous. Tatiana Jerji is the executive director and founder of Noteworthy Resources. The group petitioned Albany's Common Council to repeal an ordinance that only bans skateboarding in downtown areas. Of course, there has to be a restriction, but we just want to be treated just as equal as cyclists. It doesn't have the negative connotation that it did uh, many years ago. Ward 6 Representative Gabriela Romero agrees times have changed and skateboarding isn't what it was 30 years ago when the law first entered the books back in the 90s. During Thursday's meeting, the council will address her proposal that suggests canceling the skate restrictions on roads, parking lots, basketball and tennis courts, which only leaves the rule to stay off public monuments. As our city is moving towards less reliance on vehicles, um, addressing our climate crisis, we should be enacting infrastructure and laws that protect and encourage non-vehicular forms of transportation. She says the next step is improving highways and byways so cars can better share the road. Reporting in Albany, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.